Hey guys, I uh, hope everybody's doing well out there. Um, I want to take you through a recent uh, uh, rig that I had set up and I ran into a few problems, but this specific problem, I'm going to uh, show you what I ran into and how I fixed it. Um, I'm hoping we'll help somebody out there who is trying to get uh, Ethernet working on Linux and can't understand why uh, it's not working. So let me kind of take you through what we've got here. Basically, this is my uh, mining rig, um, new mining rig, just basically a mishmash of things. Got 580s and 1660s on it right now. Um, and right now it's actually mining uh, using Wi-Fi. So I'll show you when I go into the commands how I can show you that 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 it is in fact on Wi-Fi. And for whatever reason, when it comes up to boot, it will not recognize the Ethernet at all. And I really couldn't understand it uh, until I found this article. So this article talks about Ubuntu and that there's a connectivity that there might that there's a bug in IGC. And really what this comes down to, is as it says in this article, if you have a two and a half gigabit um, network interface, um, that's really where you start running into the problems. So it's I like 227 um, uh, firmware. It, some of the uh, some of the motherboards actually have updates that you can do. Much easier to do if you're on a Windows computer, but this really is related specifically to Linux tried to figure out a way to get that new firmware on there because I actually had to, you actually have to be, move it to a, uh, a previous revision uh, because this actually comes up in a newer revision. So anyway, so right now due to this bug, uh, the ethernet is not working. So let me take you into the command line. Um, and actually let me show you uh, Wi-Fi that you can set up Wi-Fi pretty simply within Hive OS. Uh, and that's what I started to do because on this particular rig, I have a B460 Aorus Pro AC. AC is what they use to signify their uh, integrated Wi-Fi on the motherboard. So that's what I'm using, what I started using with Wi-Fi. So I set up the Wi-Fi using these commands um, within Hive OS and it works. The reason why I was trying to get Ethernet to work is because the stale rate I was getting was 3% or higher. So much, much higher than I should be getting. So that's why I wanted to get Ethernet running on it. I had the ability to uh, get an Ethernet connection to it. So I thought, well, okay, now I just connect up the motherboard and it should just work, should be able to boot up. Well, but it didn't. So as I mentioned, this 10.0.0.240 that actually is the Wi-Fi connection. So let's go into the command line and let me do ifconfig. This will bring up all of the connections. So the ETH0, ETH0, that is your Ethernet connection. You can see there is no uh, IP address with it. it. It will not get an IP address for whatever reason with the firmware that's in there. So you can see the WLAN0, the wireless LAN, that is what we're operating on and it's 10.0.0.240. So that is the, uh, the uh, IP address that we're working with. So what do we do in order to get the ethernet to work? So I found a couple of commands and it seemed a little odd, but this is what worked for me. And I think it would work for others if you also did this. So first thing is, it's obviously active, but it didn't get an IP address. So I found out just by trying to do a um, the next command that I'll be doing, a next type of command I'll be doing, uh, without taking this ETH0 down and then back up, the next command wouldn't work. So I'm going to take this down first. I have config ETH0 down. That will actually remove that. So now if I do I have config, you'll see... E0 is not there. Right now you have just the low and the uh, wireless LAN. The E0 that was there is no longer there. <clears throat> so we now need to bring it back up. I have config E0 up. And now if we redo that command, you will see that it is back up. So it looks like it just 
exactly like it did before. So I don't know why I have to do this, but I found that this is what works. Then the next one actually will go out and request an IP address making that uh, connection active. So actually before I do that, let me show you this. So right now this is the address it's going to get to, which it's gonna, it, this is the IP address it's going to assign. It has every other time. I guess we'll see if it assigns something different, but that's what it's done every other time. If I try to reload this, it doesn't work because what? How is that working? Hold on a second. Okay, I guess I never waited long enough. Just by bringing it up and down, uh, allowed it to be assigned. Um, so no need, I don't need to do the next command. Interesting, uh, that's something new. Well, the next command, by the way, I'll type it in just in case that doesn't work. This is what I thought I had to do each other time, and that's what, what made it work. Maybe it just happened by accident, but uh, sudo dh client dash v zero. Oops, type that, dash v eth zero. That is basically doing, um, renewing your IP address for a particular interface. So I can do that again, but anyway, but you can see that that is now working. So just by bringing it down and then back up worked for me, if it didn't do this command as well. So then once you've done that, because right now it's still working with uh, the wireless, so I'm still gonna get my stale rate. So the first thing I need to do is I need to do Wi-Fi. In fact, let me show you this. Well, this is the one I'm on. So as soon as I do Wi-Fi disable on this, it's gonna stop working. So I do Wi-Fi disable. And I won't get a response because I just disabled the Wi-Fi. So now let's go back over here, reconnect to this one. I think. Let's try doing a refresh here. Yeah, there it is. And then do ifconfig. So it didn't disable it. Or I mean, it didn't remove it. I didn't take it down. It's still there, but it's not, it doesn't have an IP address. So just by doing the Wi-Fi disable, it leaves it up. But again, the IP address isn't there. So now you know you're commuting, communicating through your ETH0. And then there's one last step that I found was necessary, at least on my uh, rig, um, is to actually uh, restart the miner. Because for whatever reason, it seems to work on most of them, but it seems like with the uh, LOL miner, uh, it seems to get stuck. And I'm not really sure why. It doesn't seem to stay connected to the pool for some reason. So, um, so anyway, so I'm restarting the miner and it will come back up. So anyway, that was all I wanted to show you was uh, the some commands to help you get some uh, to basically manage your, your internet connections, uh, through the command line. So hopefully that will help somebody out there, uh, get their ethernet up and running. If it's not running again, this problem is related to the two and a half gig, uh, connections, uh, Intel connections, and it's a known issue. Uh, Hive has basically, the Hive people have said that they're trying to correct this so that they can, uh, basically get this working. So I would think that just by doing those two commands at the end of re at the end of booting everything would enable that network port. So uh, it seems like it'd be a pretty easy fix to put that into the, the startup file or something. So anyway, hope that helps somebody out there. You guys have a, a great day.